Coming up, I'm going to share the simplest ASO tool that you can use to find new keyword opportunities, track your keywords and optimize your keyword field in a snap. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And in this video, I want to really highlight a very cool ASO tool that's going to allow you to really track your keywords, find new keyword opportunities. If you're relying just on ASO, keyword opportunities are the things you should be paying attention to. And lastly, how do you really optimize all your keywords in a matter of seconds? So without further ado, let's get into the tool. It is our friends at ASO Mobile, ASO Mobile. Dot net and I'm going to give you a 40% offer at the end of this video after I show off some of the cool features. Now you can get started for free. They've got really affordable pricing that I'm going to highlight here, but you can get started for free and I'm going to be showing off a lot of the features in this video all on the free side of things. Okay. So let's get into it. First, you want to add your app. I've already loaded the chat GBT, the official chat GBT app in here. And I've got some keywords already loaded, but one of the things I want to highlight here is this keyword monitor. So if you have a ChatGPT app, you can sort of keep an eye on all your rankings and see which keywords are the most important. Now here, AI Writer has pretty decent keywords. So shout out to you guys. If you're building a ChatGPT app, build for the outcome, right? Build for the feature versus trying to go after ChatGPT, OpenAI, and all the really competitive keywords. Go after a keyword like AI Writer. So ChatGPT, OpenAI, you guys should pay attention to this particular keyword too. But I want to highlight a couple of things. So here you can tap this and you can see the top apps that show up in the search results. Here you can just see if your app is relevant to that particular keyword. If people like look at this chat AI ask anything. Now this gives me a signal that the number one app for AI writer is a ChatGPT ask anything type of app. So it is a relevant keyword if I were open AI and I had the official ChatGPT app, right? So it's a quick and easy way to kind of get a sense of whether this keyword is relevant to your app. Because a lot of times what we do on our end is really use data. So we'll find keywords that have good traffic and low competition, but might not be relevant to your app. So it's really important. Relevancy, the biggest thing, and then traffic score. It's like 1A, 1B for that regard. Okay. Next thing I want to show you guys is this little tool. Now you can hit the light bulb here and it'll see app store suggestions. Now I personally, if I were going to go after AI writer, I might lead with AI writer right here. You can see these, these are apps that have named their app by that particular keyword. And you can start showing up in the auto suggested. Now we have one of our apps. We're number three, for example, AI writer, it's not the keyword by the way, but we're number three, but we do show up in the auto suggested and we're driving anywhere from 30 to 50 downloads a day, all free organically. So that's one way to really start naming through this and kind of getting ideas of what other keywords you can be targeting, right? So you might want to put free AI writer, and see if there's any traffic here and you put a little plus sign here. All right. Next thing that I'm going to highlight here is this search tool. And this is really cool. Okay. This keyword check tool, because what it will do is show you the biggest movers for this particular keyword. So I have AI writer right here and you can see which apps are really coming up. You're like, Hmm, what is this app? Word tune. Do I, should I be paying attention to this? Right? So you can really keep an eye on your competition and the biggest losers. And again, you can see all the different apps that rank for this particular keyword, including their movement. So here you can see apps moving up, moving down, and then things that have say pretty consistent here. All right. The next tool I want to highlight here is this keyword suggest right here. If you tap here now, it's not going to work so well for chat GPT. Okay. But if you've got like a fitness app or even a meditation app, this is where it really comes into play. So I'm going to put workout right here. Okay. And you can even go more niche. So you can put in yoga and you'll find certain keywords. Now this is a great tool to find long tail niche keywords. I feel, if I'm reliant on ASO to drive downloads, 
I would rather target a niche keyword or a long tail keyword because what I've found is those niche keywords and long tail keywords tend to have the highest conversions. So it's easier for you to rank for these keywords and drive downloads. And if you're able to rank really high for those keywords, well, guess what? Those downloads are gonna yield higher conversions than the generic terms. For example, if you rank number one for workout, great, but you don't know what kind of workout people are looking for. But if you rank number one for workout for women, well, shoot you got a high converting keyword right there. So this is a great way to kind of figure out, all right, based off this term workout, what other niche keywords can I target that have good search volume and that I could possibly rank for it, right? You'll need to pay to see the difficulty score, but you can then get a sense of like, okay, can I rank for this keyword? Like workout challenge, workout calendar. And what this tool does is like workout A, right? Like the long tails, any second keyword that starts with an A, any second keyword that starts with a B and so forth, all the way down to, yes, you guessed it, Z, right? And numbers here too, which is crazy. So it's a great way to start expanding your keywords and finding niches. So if you're building a yoga app, put yoga. If you're building a meditation app, put meditation and you can find really niche keywords that way. The next tool I want to move on to is one of the favorite tools from ASO Mobile, it's called Text Analyzer, and you can see it here. And what it does is we already have the description of the official ChatGPT app, and you can hit analyze. And so you can copy and paste reviews, your competitor's description right here. If you're on a paid plan, ASO Mobile will actually just take some of the competitors, but if you're on the free plan like me, you can just copy and paste too. And it's a great way to kind of get a sense of what your competitors are using within their description and figure out any keywords that you might be missing in your actual keyword targeting, right? And then they do a great job of just showing you the traffic scores of each keyword that they found within the description. So I'm gonna put in AI chat, here's the app, paste the description right here, and then I'm gonna throw it into ASO mobile right here. So here, let's do this. Copy, paste, and analyze. So you can see AI is being used a lot, power, pocket AI, assistant, chatbot, and then you can see down here which keywords are being used the most and the traffic score of each individual keyword. So really great way to kind of discover new keywords that you might have been missing. These longer tail keywords that have two keywords in here that have traffic. So you're gonna to try to find some that have a bit more traffic. It's a great tool to just sort of analyze some of the features that your competitors have, like Fitness Planner as an example, and Apple Watch integration, Safari extension that you might not have in, within your particular app. All right, the last thing I wanna show off and the coolest thing is this keyword builder down here. So I'm here. Now let's say you've figured out what your title and your subtitle is going to be. Those have the highest weight. So make sure you have the best keywords there. And now you have the rest of these keywords. So generally speaking for us, when we're working with clients, we have hundreds, like if not two, 300 keywords that we're sort of considering. And now that the US app store indexes nine different localizations, well, shoot, you can use up to four or 500 keywords to really help your US keyword rankings. So Vietnamese, you can have different titles, subtitle, and different keyword fields to help your US keyword rankings. I have this long list of keywords right here that I'm gonna copy and paste. Now they're gonna be super long. I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna hit transform. And like magic, what ASO Mobile just did was take out the repeating keywords because you don't need to repeat it and put them all in a way where I can just copy and paste. So they took this 88 number of keywords, distilled it into the number of characters, Right now I'm over 494. So now I can put this into the first 100 into the US. I can put the next 100 into the Spanish Mexico, the next 100 into Vietnamese, the next 100 into Arabic and so forth, right? Really cool way of sort of leveraging all the keywords that you wanna target, sort them by difficulty or sort them by traffic and then just throw it into ASL mobile. And then like magic, they'll just put them into a way, into a format that you can just copy and paste into App Store connect. All right, guys, that's it. Really cool tool. Shout out to ASO Mobile. They are Ukrainian based. So if you want to support a Ukrainian company, go check them out. And if you want to save 40% off any of their plans right here, we'll go use the promo code AppMasters40. That once again is AppMasters40. It'll be linked up into the YouTube description as well. So thank you, ASO Mobile, for supporting AppMasters. And thank you for building such a cool tool that's going to save my team a lot of time. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video.